What's up everyone? My name is Nick and welcome to the Mini Vlog. And today in Living With Minis, we're gonna be turning off that little uh, warning message that comes up when you start, every time you start the car. It goes along the lines of uh, cars are dangerous, so just be aware and keep your eyes on the road. Um, it's, it's an important message that Mini has to say, but I don't think it needs to come up every time we start the car. Uh, we get it, we know the uh, drill at this point, we've been driving the car for many years. So we're gonna go ahead and use Beamer code today, which we haven't used in a couple of years and we're gonna turn off that warning message. Um, now I should note that I'm not a lawyer, I don't know the laws in your areas, you should check with the laws in your area about turning off that message. And another thing I'm not gonna get into today is the uh, connection to Beamer Code itself because there's just too many variables involved. There's many different types of adapters. I've collected these three over the years. There's a couple of different types of ecosystems on phones and then different versions of operating systems in each ecosystem. So there's just too many variables for me to show you how to connect to Beamer Code for your phone and your car. But I'm gonna show you the steps once you're in Beamer Code in order to turn off that warning message. Um, and so you, when you start the car, it just goes right to the infotainment screen. So the first thing we're gonna do is plug in the OBD adapter into the OBD connector. On this car, it happens to be underneath the driver's side dash. Um, your car might be in a different spot. And then we're gonna launch Beamer Code, connect to that adapter and read the car's information. And then we'll have the settings in there that we're gonna go ahead and look and change. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So for this car, the GP3, number 001, our ODB port is up here. As you can see, we're at the dash, so we're up here underneath the dash. So I'm gonna take my adapter and I'm gonna plug it in and you'll see that there are some status lights on there to let us know that it's up and running. And then we can jump over to the phone, connect to that and launch the app. So let's do that. So we're gonna start by uh, launching our Beamer Code app. So we'll click connect and then it's gonna uh, connect to the adapter and read from the car's ECU. So it's gonna get all the settings that this car has and populate them here in the menu when we see that shortly. And so for this, we're gonna go into head unit and we're gonna scroll down to warning at startup. We're gonna check on that and it's got an unassigned value by default. We're gonna change it to not active, which means don't turn on um, that warning message when we start up the car. We're gonna click okay and then we're gonna tap code and we're gonna click start coding. It's gonna send this information to the car. So we're only changing one value in this, so it should go pretty quickly here. And as you can see, it shuts off the ECU um, and then restarts it. We get our beautiful GP animation, which I really love. That's probably the best startup animation out there. Okay, so now the moment of truth, we're gonna turn off the car, we're gonna lock it, and then we're gonna restart it again and see if we get that warning message on startup. So let's give it a try. A few moments later. And we're gonna hit start. And look at that. Right to the screen, no warning message anymore. That's what we've been looking for. Again, you're gonna to wanna to check your local area jurisdictions to see the legality of that, but we don't have that warning message anymore telling us, hey, you're driving a car, it's dangerous. Um, so super quick and simple uh, thing to do with Beamer Code. Again, your mileage may vary based on the car or the adapter or the phone or operating system you have, but uh, that's, that's how you can get it done uh, in most models this way. So yeah, what do you think of this shirt? GP dark mode, pretty cool, huh? You can get your own at minivlog.com slash store and some other cool designs there too, so uh, go check them out. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this one, uh, this short Beamer Code video. There are other cool Beamer Code videos out there. Uh, YouTube channel Car Creations has done some really cool ones recently, so go check them out if you haven't seen them already. Um, and in the future, we'll do some more uh, to this GP3. We're not gonna do too many. We're not gonna do the same amount that we did on the JCW, but we'll do a few more. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of those. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, when you see other minis out there, don't forget to wave, all right? I'll catch you in the next one.